War Machine himself, Don Cheeto, talks a little bit about Armor Wars and what is next in his career, and possibly even retirement from the MCU. So this comes at us in an interview with Yahoo Entertainment that Don Cheeto did, where he specifically talks about the excitement for Armor Wars, how this is going to be a James Rhodes story, and we're finally going to get to really experience what it's like to be him in the MCU, but also the effects that losing his best friend has had on him and the entire world. And it's during this conversation and talking about the future of the MCU that the contract is brought up. Now, in a separate interview as well, where he covers all these same subjects, he told Variety that right now, his contract is going to be expiring. And he has no idea if he's going to return or not. So if it was up to him, he'd be back. He wants to come back. If they present him with good ideas, if they ask him to come back for a role, He's willing to take on the conversation and talk with them. And then, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Let's get this done. But his contract will effectively be done with Armor Wars. And this isn't the first time we're hearing this. He's teased that his next appearance would be the end of his contract. But this is before we kind of knew that he was in Secret Invasion as well. So this kind of muddies up um, what exactly this means. Again, there's no way that he's not contracted for Armor Wars and they used his Armor Wars contract for Secret Invasion. Then how would you have Armor Wars happen, right? That doesn't make sense. So I see why some people are confused, but what he's saying is his contract is officially over as of when he did this interview. He has no future appearances and doesn't know about everything or anything. But if they come to him, ask him to continue, he wants to do it. But if it's the end of the road for James Rhodes, and if he's done as War Machine, then Armor Wars is officially his last appearance, and he's done. Which, again, probably not, right? They're probably going to want him in at least the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, so we can be sure that he's going to have at least a couple more appearances. I think it's safe to say. The world needs a Iron Man stand-in and, well, War Machine.